Gluster makes a file system product called GlusterFS, which is an example of what we call scale-out storage. And the scale-out is distinguished from scale-up in the sense that it means you add capacity or you add performance by adding servers rather than by making the servers bigger, which generally incurs a very large premium for paying the enterprise storage cost. It is very useful in environments where you want to control your own hardware and software configurations to run it on. So it's hardware that you own and control. It's also useful in the cloud, which is where you do not have any control over what the hardware or software, some of the software is. Um, and it's all commoditized. So it runs on top of both of those environments extremely well. Cluster is actually a very flexible system. It can be configured with a variety of different modules and options to suit a variety of different workloads. The one where it probably excels the most is in streaming media type workloads. Pandora has been a customer of theirs for a long time. It is used for a lot of other workloads. It's used for mail stores, home directories, just about anything you would use a file system for. But the media is probably the one where it really shines the most. ClusterFS today provides a significant usable and useful feature that we can offer to our customers. But I think in the long term, it's going to be even more valuable as infrastructure for other products and offerings that we have, both products themselves and services. Because it is so modular, because it is so extensible, it can be adapted to use different features to support both direct service to users, what we call file system as a service to users in the cloud, and also to use it as infrastructure for the cloud. So in the first case, you would have something like any infrastructure as a service or a platform as a service offering, such as OpenShift, could potentially make use of it to provide services directly to users. And other projects, such as uh, virtualization projects, could use it to actually store the virtual machine images and serve them up. So in the long term, these sort of invisible uses or less visible uses, where it's not obviously Gluster FS, but it's the file system service or it's part of the cloud infrastructure, are going to be much more valuable than the actual Gluster FS as it is today.